to like leave to like a broken website or something to that effect, then it's not it's not legit. At least in my experience, I mean, I mean, I don't I don't risk it because if the cost is split between us, it won't be as much investment, and the other two can go in the same vehicle to save gas. Right? Absolutely. So yeah, that's what I do. I just kind of look up the event and then I look up the people. Like if, you know, because some people will, sometimes you'll see like reviews about the, the event or the people performing or you can also click like actually on the, the vendors thing and like people commenting and you can see who's a returner and then ask questions down there too. Um, I've done that before too. I mean, I'm not rude or disrespectful about it. I'm very polite, but I want to make sure, like, I'm not wasting, you know what I mean, gas, time, money, you know, all of the above. I just totally ruined that, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. But yeah, splitting the cost, that's a good, that's a good deal. Would you share the same um, booth table? Because then a lot of them also only, um, a lot of them, like vendors, would actually want to see what you're selling so that like it's not like a lot of them is of the same stuff. So um, they want to see what you're selling. So you have to sometimes, sometimes send pictures in and they'll see if you, you get approved of that. Um, but if you're sharing a table, both of you would have to send what you're doing and tell them like it's at the same table if you're not getting a separate table. Because they charge you per table or per spot. And they charge you more if you need a plug. So if you want something to plug in, they'll charge you more for it. And it don't get better than this. There'll be nothing but a good time. Okay. I hope that helps. I don't know if that... I think we should share a table or have several small tables. Yeah, you might want to um, let your vendor people know that too. Because like, like I said, they might want pictures of the things that you're going to sell. Kickstart my heart. Okay, there we go. Oh no, it's turning it pink. Crap. Yeah, that's not going to work out. This is why I probably wanted to use alcohol ink. Uh, yes, don't want to waste money when I first start to try and sell my crochet stuff ages ago. There was an event at a school. It was a huge wrestling tournament with a big turnout, but we were outside, so nearly no one came over to look at our stuff. Yeah, location is big, too. Um, like, like you want to also, when you want to do that, you want to research if, like, it's a big event or how many people show up, like, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes 
when you first start out, it's good to start with a smaller one so you're not like bombarded and you have to have like tons of stock on hand where you can like work your way up up the um you know what I mean that up the uh shows because some shows are like massive and they get a lot of traction and but those are also the harder ones to get into you really have to be like unique and stand out at least from my experience I don't know like it might be different where you where you are We are hoping since it's the three of us with different things, it will be easier to have more stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Just make sure you're, um, like I said, make sure the vendors know you're three people. Because sometimes they charge you extra for an extra person if it's not the two. Because they'll give you, well, some of them will do a table, two chairs. But a third person, they charge. So you might just, you, you just got to, you know, ask to make sure you're, you know, you're whatever. You know what I mean? Yep, definitely, yeah. 